hi guys hope you all preparing well so as usual we are going to analyze five most expected model mcqs from chemical equilibrium for especially lab test examination and these questions can also useful for all other chemistry related examinations so that's why watch the video completely then you can get the best information from each and every question and if you like this video please click on like and do subscribe and click on notification button to get uh, uh, updates from the master official youtube channel okay right now just look at the first question here if ion product q is greater than solubility product the correct statements is or so we have given with solution is super saturated reaction proceed reverse to reach equilibrium precipitation will occur solution is unsaturated more solid will dissolve so we need to pick the correct statements okay right what is the condition is given here in this problem we need to look at it that is the ionic product q is greater than solubility product okay whenever ionic product is greater than solubility product then the solution has higher concentration of ions when we compare with equilibrium concentrations just take this note okay ion concentrations are greater than equilibrium concentrations that's why reaction will proceed reverse to reach equilibrium now here you can say, you can take for example if we take a salt nacl which is in equilibrium with its ions na plus cl minus okay here the ionic product is greater than solubility product so that's why more that means the concentration of ions is greater than concentration of this solid nacl okay so that's why equilibrium shift towards left so reaction proceed reverse to reach equilibrium and so due to uh, this shifting of equilibrium you can see more solid will form that means more ppt or precipitation will occur whenever ion product is greater than solubility product and the solution is considered as super saturated because of more that means higher concentrations of ions in that particular solution okay so based on this analysis we can conclude that option a and b and c or the correct statement so a b c so the third option is the correct answer okay right now just look at the second question hydronium ion concentration in 500 ml of an aqueous solution okay for home soap making containing 2.6 grams of dissolved sodium hydroxide is so we have uh, we need to first uh, we need to convert or we need to find the number of moles of naoh okay so here you can write the number of moles of naoh equals to so what is the weight of sodium hydroxide is dissolved 2.6 grams so 2.6 grams into 1 mole by what is the molar mass of naoh that is 40 okay so from this you can get 0.0 65 moles so after finding the number of moles of uh, 2.6 uh, grams of naoh now you can take the concentration of naoh okay the concentration of naoh equals to the number of moles by volume so here uh, we have calculated that the number of moles equals to 0.065 mole by so here the volume is 0.5 liters because we have taken 500 ml 
okay so from that you can get 0 0.13 mole per liter okay so this is the concentration of NaOH and we we know that sodium hydroxide is a strong base and which completely ionizes into its respective ions Na plus and OH minus. So we have calculated that NaOH concentration is 0 0.13 mole per liter. So which should be the concentration for its ions. So we can say that 0 0.13 mole per liter for this OH minus ion. Okay. So now uh, we can find the uh, concentration of H3O plus. Okay, which is equals to here KW by OH minus. Now for water KW value, we all know that that is 1 into 10 power minus 1 4 by what is the concentration of OH minus N? 0 0.13 mole per liter. So from that you will get the answer 7.7 .7 into 10 power minus 1 4 mole per liter. So here the fourth option is the correct answer. Okay. Right, the next question PbSO4. Okay, PbSO4 has the solubility of uh, 4.25 into 10 power minus 3 gram for 100 ml. The solubility product of uh, PbSO4 is so here you can see that we have uh, PbSO4 has its solubility that is 4.25 into 10 power minus 3 grams in 100 ml but not given as liters okay so here we need to convert gram per ml to gram per liter so this is the main point in this question okay right so now just uh, do the conversion here 4.25 into 10 power minus 3 grams of pbso4 by in 100 ml right in 100 ml solution so into 1000 ml by 1 liter into 1 mole of pbso4 by what is the molar mass of pbso4 we need to calculate so that is 303.3 grams of pb SO4. The unit conversions are very very important. Okay, so here we are converting from grams of that PB SO4. Okay, so which uh, results 1.40 into 10 power minus 4 concentration of that PB SO4. Okay, right now we can say that each mole of uh, PB SO4 produces one mole of pb plus 2 and one mole of so4 minus 2 okay it completely ionizes to produce pb plus 2 and one mole of so4 minus 2 so we can say that the concentration of pb plus 2 should be equals to the concentration of so4 minus 2 Okay, so we have calculated that concentration as 1.4 into 10 power minus 4 m. Okay, now we know the equation or uh, equation to find or to determine solubility product as the concentration, the product of concentrations of ions here, Pb plus 2 into SO4 minus 2. Okay. So just substitute uh, this value here and you can get 1.4 into 10 power minus 4 whole square which equals to here 1.96 into 10 power minus 8. So third option is the correct answer. Got it.